Now, elsewhere in Nairobi, crocs have emerged among religious bodies in the country over a proposal to regulate their conduct. A section of clergy earlier in the day walked out of a meeting called by the Attorney General, accusing him of ambushing them with issues. Well, Kirsten Yabwa reports on the protests and the later assurances from the government. After the storm kicked off by the expose on KTN's Jichopevo and the Inside Story, religious leaders from various denominations assembled at the Kenyatta International Conference Center bright and early for a meeting with Attorney General Gidumuigai. This after the government announced that it would come up with regulations to govern religious entities, a proposal that appears to have split religious groupings. Just minutes into the meeting, a section of religious leaders walked out in protest. Led by Bishop Mark Karaoke, they moved to Ufungamano House, and here they aired grievances they felt had been overlooked by the Attorney General. It is very unfair and illogical of the government to attempt to control and muzzle all religious institutions by introducing new regulations that are not in line with the law. While these leaders claimed they had walked out of the meeting on realizing that the Attorney General's office had lined up matters not in line with their agenda, in their absence, the meeting continued, with the remaining leaders seeming to come to an agreement with the Attorney General. We are sure that um, there is understanding between the two parties and that the fear that has been there uh, will be uh, misplaced. The government has no intention has never had any intention of regulating religious organizations or in any way in any way interfering with the religious freedoms that are contained in the constitution of Kenya Churches are registered under the Societies Act, which once governed political parties. The leaders were summoned to discuss proposals to put in place a new regulatory framework, the Attorney General now seeming to contradict himself. The government has a legal, a political, and a moral responsibility to ensure that religious organizations perform their work in an environment that is peaceful, in an environment that fosters social justice, and an environment that helps in the spiritual development of our nation. Both parties are agreed on those two pillars. Following the KTN expose on Victor Kanyari of the Salvation Healing Ministries, a man who stands accused of engaging in malpractices, the government suspended the registration of new religious institutions. But finding common ground for all the country's religious institutions may prove difficult. What happened at Salvation and Healing Ministries is a single case that does, that, that does not warrant generalization to all religious institutions. If a single person has broken the law, let them be accorded all their rights as they are dealt with according to the law. The morning's meeting appeared to split the religious leaders into two groups, one side supporting the government position, while the other said they had not been adequately represented, both groups now departing to deliberate further. Wilkinson Abu KTN in Nairobi.